boss. Whoa. <laughs> Welcome to Get In The Mix. Fresh through the door, straight out of the factory, Akai Professional's latest release, the MPC Key 6. One, don't be fooled, this is no ordinary keyboard. This is the love child of an MPC Live and a 61 key keyboard. It is completely standalone with built-in synth engines, built-in plugins, built-in processing tools, and the ability to sequence and program essentially absolutely anything, completely independent from any computer controlled. It is a big old box. IEC cable. Blue USB 3.0. Little diagram. There's a mini keyboard in that. <laughs> oh god, this is gonna be. How are you gonna get that out? I've got it. <laughs> Who needs spare hands or help from a cameraman? That's all right, Ollie, you just hold that camera. So, for the gram reveal, Ooh, one bit of tape. <laughs> hey, look at that. You gonna do me the honors and whip away my bit of, it's like a magic trick. Remove the little key bed. Ooh. See ya. Oh, well, here it is in all its glory and whew, does it look fresh. Clean, well built, nice bit of weight to it. You know, you want your product to have a bit of weight to it. Great feeling controls, MPC standard, all super high quality. But really, we want to plug it in and see what it's got under the hood. Let's get that power cable. That's a good point. I didn't see no power cable come out of the box. It's going to be hidden in one of these bits of polystyrene. No, it isn't. Don't listen to me. I see. In my mind, it's going to be battery power. Battery powered? <laughs> you were thinking battery powered? Definitely not. No. Oh, look. Soft touch button. It's like the in music on button. It's, it's the button, it's the button from the Prime series. You've seen the denim players, got it. You've seen the new Mark players, got it. They've got that button. Soft touch. So whilst we're looking around here, let's take a, look, a little look at its in and outs because it is quite extensive to say the least. We've got our expression pedal, foot pedal input, and a sustain pedal. We've got through, out and in, five pin MIDI connections, eight CV and gate in and outs, inputs one and two via a XLR combi jack input with an attenuation and a line slash instrument switch. We've got a set of four quarter inch jack outputs that can either be used as two stereo pairs or four mono singles. We have a stereo phones output, USB hub connections, USB B connections, a network switch, and of course, my favorite, the on button. The on button. PC. It's on, it's loaded. Let's enter into the OS and see how easy to use it is. Oh, please connect your MPC to the internet to check for the latest software update. Let's go. Don't even need no software updates. We're up to date. This comes with so many built-in plugins, you've got built-in synths, you've got built-in instruments, you've got built-in kits, you've got the ability to load more sounds via the Wi-Fi, just completely standalone. You've got your 16 by 16 grid of drum pads so you can play in just you know that classic MPC fashion, but you've also got newer features like the touch strip and the Q-Link controls, in-depth transport controls, expression wheels, pitch and modulation, and a various other controls like ARP, uh, and octaves up and down and pad banks to the left along with your master. So I've just loaded in a template, Guitars at Midnight, and I think the best thing to do would be to just crack on and make a little track and see what comes out. So first things first, arm my record, skip to the beginning of the track, turn my metronome on because my timing's useless, and press play. Oh, actually, let's select the right sound. I'm going to start with a Rhodes. Guitar, maybe? Mm, 
hat or strings. Bass. Preview that bass. some drums. Maybe try a little note repeat. I like that chill, you know, it's just something simple. Maybe a little arpeggiator over the top. Yeah, I like that. Ah, <laughs> not, not quite with the pitch fader there, recorded him without the pitch. bit of modulation, very subtle, and as simple as that, it's got the foundations of a track. Out of the box, within one minute, and we're building something that sounds nice already. Now, once you start throwing some other elements in there, a singer, maybe you've got a guitar, making use of those recording inputs down the front, there is no limits to what you might do with this. I can safely say this is going right on my wish list. I want one of these. Be saving the pennies for days to come. Days to come. Months to come. <laughs> couple <laughs> pennies a day. This is a fantastic bit of kit and really ticks a lot of boxes for me. So as always, like if you like, dislike if you dislike, check us a comment in the comment section and be sure to subscribe. And as always, get in the mix. <laughs>